Hi guys. If you hear Jack set the guy in the background, it's because I'm currently watching one of his videos. Um, I'm putting back my, my hoodie back on because I'm going to actually be needing it soon. Um, I filmed earlier a couple videos. Um, I'm sorry if I look like shit. I feel like shit right now, so the appropriate to look like it um and I was having some trouble with um just feeling like crap today and because it's allergy season my allergies act up and my lungs act up especially with the weather changing if it's too dry out if it's too wet out it's whatever I have <laughs> severe asthma on top of everything um so I was laying down and I realized I can't breathe and it's not rescue inhaler can't breathe it's I have to do nebulizer treatment so I set up my camera on my bed I don't normally want to film on my bed because um, it's quite a mess to be honest so I'm, I'm kind of just like is the mess out of the way um I have a lot of pillows on my bed, stuffed animals and stuff. So if this is a shaky video, that's why. Um, on top of it, you guys are gonna, I'm gonna film my um, after nebulizer issues. <laughs> um, so I'll show you how I get ready and everything with my nebulizer. I have my medication, a box of my medication. I actually have a very huge box of medication. Um, but they come in here, this little box. I'm not going to show the other side, or this part up here, because it it shows um, my medical stuff. I'm technically on days when I can't breathe. I'm supposed to do this every four to six hours. Um, this is the albuterol sulfate. I think other people do different stuff in their nebulizers. Um, they come in these tiny little tubes. You, um, sorry, I'm, I'm always terrified breaking these off, because I'm just going to, like, explode one. Um, break one off. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is my nebulizer. It's a Philips Respironic Inospire Essence. Uh, works for 30. It stays on for 30 minutes. Um... I don't think you guys need the other information on it and stuff, but this is a pretty good nebulizer. The one that I had when I was younger was a monster. <laughs> um, you have the option of the surgical mask or this little mouthpiece. Um, I have both. I also have the little dinosaur mask when I was younger. If you have asthma or you've ever had to have a breathing treatment, you know the little dinosaur. Mine was purple. I don't know if anyone had any other colors, but I had a purple little dinosaur one. Um, and once when I was like 13, I was having a really bad, like couldn't breathe. And I only had the children's mask. So there was like this 13 year old kid awkwardly with this tiny child mask on her face. <coughs> trying to breathe. Um, if you have asthma or you have a chronic cough sometimes you know it's like to get that one cough where you're like I'm pretty sure I might throw up after this um there's my tubing um I don't know anything about the tubing or the cup um if there's brands or anything uh this one thankfully isn't bent my other one this uh no this one is bent from the way it used to be stored the tubing's a little bit bent here but there's no holes or anything um the cup has measurements. I'm not gonna try and like not. I'm not gonna say too much. I'm not gonna try and like get in your face though, guys. This was clean. Um, I think it still is. I think that's just fucking a water spot from washing it. Cause I'll be honest, sometimes I'm not the greatest washer. Usually my mom does it. 
and last time I did this, my mom wasn't home, so I had to wash it myself. You have to keep your nebulizer stuff clean, though, because you have the risk of, you know, normal bacteria and stuff. Um, some can grow mold. And this literally turns it into a vapor, or whatever you'd like to call it, a gas, vapor, whatever, that you have to inhale. So whatever bacteria is in here, or if there's mildew, or God forbid, somehow mold, that's going to become air particles and go into your lungs. When I was younger, I had black mold exposure from the house I lived in, and you don't want that in your body. Especially because at one point, or because of black mold exposure, you can't take um, certain medications. I believe it's probiotics, I don't know. Not antibiotics. I think it's like, whatever. It was something. Um, so you take this part of the tube, this little green part, this cup, you're going to put your mouthpiece on, or, um, I don't have a mask one to show you right now. That's still packed away because I wasn't using it. Um, I believe it's in my bathroom stuff. But the mask, I believe it's still the cup, and it used to be a tube into the mask. Or you'd put the mask directly on here, and then the mask would go against your face. Um, there was, I think, another version besides the mask in this. Or I might be thinking of the children's inhaler. I really hope you guys can like see me decently. <laughs> um, so you take this little green part, and then you have your bigger switch. I don't fuck with this a lot, because this is a nice machine. You have your little switch, and you have this little tube right here. Take this green piece, and you want to make sure it's securely on the uh, tube. I think I probably just gave myself a bruise on my chest. Um, do that. I have my cord currently wrapped up because I have cats. Um, so I'm gonna unravel my cord. Make sure there's no like really big kinks. I'm gonna plug it in. Um, I'm plugging in right now next to me so then it's easier. Um, I usually like to do this um, sorry along with being when I get these bad days my memory is really bad. Um, I like to do this somewhere where I can put my nebulizer without having to worry about it overheating. It doesn't really happen often for me thankfully but I know some do tend to can overheat. I'm not because they tend to. So just as a precaution, I'm gonna take my notebook because it's at least it's plastic and it's not something like cloth which heats up easily. Um, move some of my pillows over. Put my notebook. Put my machine on my notebook, making sure all the vents because there are vents on the sides, and making sure the bottom is clear and the vents are clear. Um, and then I'm going to show you, we spin this doohickey off, um, oh god, I hate that sound, hold on, um, then you take the little tubing, pop the top off, if you ever had the old, uh, juice drinks like that, it's, it's similar, um, I tend to just pop the little, things back in the box until I'm ready to throw it out. Then you squeeze in your entire vial into this little cup. I try and make sure I get every drop because I need every drop in my lungs. Um, I could probably, and you just twist it back on, make sure it is locked. Uh, the outbreak albuterol I have is 2.5 milligrams or 3 milliliters and it's uh, 0.083 percent so um I forgot what I was going to say you do have to make sure it's stored at a certain temperature and it does expire mine thankfully I'll make sure you guys don't see my shit uh doesn't expire till July of 2020, it's April, so I'm going to have to go to my doctor and be like, yo, I'm going to need some more. Um, I'm going to turn this on before I end this. It is very loud, so if you have an issue with loud sounds, 
Um, please lower the volume, put it on mute. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to turn it off real quick. I just want to show you it takes the liquid, turns it into that gas, and now I'm going to sit here and breathe this in until all, and I do mean all, I have try and get like every drop into my lungs, um, and then I will be back to film the after effects, um, and to maybe just have a little talking time with you guys while I do this, because I do tend to get energized or exhausted, or both sometimes, so I'll be back soon. See you in a minute. Um, I've done, oh shit, just about all of it. Um, I took a, I took a, um, I'm pretty sure you guys are crooked. crooked. Um, that's nasty, where's my tissue? <laughs> um, I, t sorry, it's gonna take me at it. Um, I took a recording of during. I will. Ew, hair. <laughs> um, I took a recording during, and I will probably t <laughs> take out the audio. Um, maybe if I can figure out some royalty free music, I might put that over it so you guys don't just have to sit and silence um <clears throat> so let me talk about the <clears throat> the after effects of um my albuterol nebulizer um i'm sorry i think you guys are still crooked i don't know if it's no it's not that so i think it's just my bed um my bed is very messed up from years of use and the animals on it. So if you are a cricket, I'm sorry for your, if you have OCD. I also end up uh, burping, burping and coughing sometimes for nebulizer treatments. So I'm sorry if I do that. Um, the after effects for me are either I get energy or um, I get really exhausted usually it's a little bit of both um i'm fighting my body right now um i get very bad shakes um and sometimes i sometimes i shake so bad i i i stutter or i can't talk um it gets to the point where sometimes, <clears throat> what was I saying? Um, where sometimes my teeth chatter when I'm sitting still. Um, I already have an anxiety twitch where my neck tends to mm, do that. So um, that kind of gets amplified sometimes because your body is, or at least my body is in. Um, somewhat of an overdrive how so my body confuses it with anxiety and my neck twitches um i don't have control over it i'm fighting really hard against my body not to shake right now um this is my hands right after um I do have a little, not even, not even a minor shake actually normally, um, if I, 
don't tighten my hand it's kind of just like that um there's been times i get shakes even worse than this um uh, probably when the medication starts getting even more into my system uh i've had family members compare it to people with parkinson's which is very like, i know it's not funny to joke about that i'm not joking about it um <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's also, uh, they joke about it to make light of it because it scares them when I shake like this and it kind of scares them because no one in my family has asthma as bad as I do. My mom had it when she was younger, but I don't think they had stuff like they did today. I'm sorry, my hand's really shaking and it's, it's agitating a little bit like it's angry it makes me angry um because i can't control my body um what's he saying so it kind of scares them a bit so they they make jokes um i don't want to say it's it, the twitching is kind of similar to Tourette's <laughs> but i've had my some of my other family members the ones refer to my shaking as Parkinson's kind of make it seem like I have Tourette's from my twitches and stuff. Um, my heart rate, back to the side effects of after this and the after, um, my heart rate goes up uh, pretty high if I'm not calm after my treatments. Um, it can get even higher and I could end up getting very sick of um, um there's been times where my asthma and the nebulizer has aggravated my body so bad i've thrown up throwing up while shaking and, and wheezing isn't fun um i put my hoodie on because i can tend to get a little bit colder um I've had a nebulizer, I think almost ever since I could remember. I didn't have one for a while, for a couple years, because I was a little bit healthier when I was, uh, for a period of like two or three years, but I still had it in case of emergencies when I didn't have an inhaler. Sorry, my eyes are getting a little fucked up too. Um, uh, there's a reason why I used my tripod to film this right now, even if it's a little awkward and I'm not fully in frame or something. I, I, I've tried videoing with my phone with, with these after effects and it's <laughs> not the greatest. Um, oh my god, I'm going to cry because my neck. Um, so I don't know other people's side effects for the nebulizer. As I said, I'm really one of the only people in my family that's used it. Even in, my brother didn't have this bad of asthma. Hopefully my niece does not. Um, I have to stay hydrated afterwards because it is dehydrating sometimes. I was already very tired and then the nebulizer just makes it worse. <laughs> So, uh, I also put on the hoodie to try and minimize you guys seeing me shake. I haven't done my nebulizer in maybe, well, longer than I should have. Um, so now my body is still getting hit pretty hard. Um, sometimes if you do, if you hear the vibrating of my phone, um, sometimes if you do your nebulizer, in too short of span time, that's why it says four to six hours as needed. Um, you, you, you can overdose on albuterol. Your heart rate can go too high and you can have to go to the hospital. My mom did that once with her inhaler when she was younger. Um, I actually, I guys, I, I guys, I can show you guys my inhaler. Um, I have the nebulizer and then I have a pro air rescue inhaler. 
Um, this one is the one that is actually currently expired. I have to get a new one. Um, I was going to get a new one before COVID happened. So this is also one of the reasons why I have to wear a mask when I go outside or to hospitals. Um, because days when my body is weakened from my asthma or I do my nebulizer and my body is more open, um, I can get sick from, uh, just really quick so I can put my inhaler away and not fidget with it. Like I said, it's the Pro Air. Um, you have to shake it before you use, uh, it shows on back here. If you could, oh god, I'm not even going to bother continuing to show that. It shows your expiration date. Um, there's not much you really need to know on here, on the bottle. Um, mine has this nifty little thing in back. Some of them have it, some of them do not. It is a counter. Um, each inhaler comes with 200 puffs, I believe. I'm so sorry. Because once I start to shake, I get a little bit emotional because it, it's something like, <sighs> like my emotions, it's very shaky. Um, <laughs> but what was I saying? Oh, so it comes with 200. Um, you take the emergency inhaler in two puffs. Um, you breathe out completely, puff, inhale, hold five seconds, and then repeat by breathing out, puff inhale the puff obviously hold for five seconds and blow out you're not doing more than the two puffs that is needed because like i said you can out, uh have too much or overdose on albuterol um let me put that aside so i know to call my doctor um uh, um ever since i was little like i said earlier i have had severe asthma um it never stopped me from trying for sports. I played softball for two years. I did cheerleading for one. Um, sadly, things, some coaches were like thought, oh, just because she has asthma, I'm not going to take it easy on her. I don't like to be treated differently as anyone who I think has either physical issues um, some mental problems, which sounds, every time I say that, I feel so bad the way I phrase it. Um, I don't like being treated different, to be honest, but when I can't run miles, like in my gym class and whatnot, um, it, I can't run miles. Other kids don't have the same lung issues I do. It's not just, oh, she's lazy. It's, I, in freshman year, I dropped out of, um, gym class and actually reported my teachers or had my mom threaten to report my teachers because I was running, they wouldn't let me walk. And, um, I sound like I'm on the verge of crying. I'm not, on the, um, like, not, on purpose at least <laughs> um or not knowingly i wasn't allowed to stop running and i started to have an asthma attack ran into the girls locker room and nearly broke my locker open to get my inhaler and they yelled at me very bad and were threatening to give me a detention because I left the class and whatnot, and I, I like yelled at them. I was like, "You guys can kick me out. I just nearly had an asthma attack, or I might have actually, because I've never, I've been thankful to not have an asthma attack fully. I've had slight asthma attacks, but nothing s super severe. Um, as you can see, I'm I'm pretty good at fighting the shivers now." Um, my head's kind of wobbling I can feel it um but I kind of yelled at them which they thought is, was disrespectful and I got in more trouble um but I went to the nurse's office and I called my mom and I said I'm not doing this gym class um I don't care if I need the credit to graduate they basically told me to suck it up when I was having an asthma attack and I could not breathe 
Um. <coughs> um. <clears throat> so yes, another after effect I get is I get very itchy. Um, it's something that happens with my anxiety too. Um, it just happens when I have trouble breathing. I get very itchy. I also have very sensitive skin though, so I hive out easily or get irritated easily. Um, hmm. Sorry, sometimes I do, I do have to like <laughs> just sit there and like shake myself to like try and get rid of some of the shakes. Uh, they get worse. <laughs> So that's why I'm fighting them, because I don't want to look like I'm having, like, a semi-seizure in front of you guys. <clears throat> I'm also not trying to sound like I'm making fun of seizures. I know someone who has seizures, and I do... Excuse me. I do not, um... I don't laugh at anything like that. Um... I just wanted to make this video... Um... Sorry, I finally got a text back so about someone I was worried about. Um, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys, because um, I wanted, I want to make maybe a playlist and a series of um, medical, medical kind of stuff. Um, some of my physical issues, like my need for my nebulizer inhaler and my asthma. Um, maybe I can do a video one day when I have a migraine kind of I'm so sorry I'm just having really bad trouble talking and that see now I want to cry because it, it's frustrating um, it's my mom I showed her TikTok and now um, get blown up about it um, uh, what was I saying oh I just wanted to do these videos because I know that there are other people out there who have nebulizers and inhalers. I would like to know other people's experiences with their nebulizers if they have the same <clears throat> reactions as I do. I can't keep fighting these. I'm, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> stop recording and I'm just gonna fucking look like I'm vibrating off the wall or something. Um, to let people know that they're not alone because <clears throat> because I want to I'm so sorry for clearing my throat like this um to educate myself on other the way other people are with their asthma and their nebulizers or inhalers um I know a lot of people have asthma I have it my brother had it uh he gets it like it comes back when he gets really sick <clears throat> my boyfriend had it but he's also a smoker so <laughs> um, but yeah, I plan on doing a series and maybe doing a video one day when I have a migraine so you guys can see like a day in the life of me with a migraine. Um, maybe I can do it also for the days when I'm very anxious or very uh, depressed so you guys can- I don't want anyone to have to live a day in the life of any of the issues I have whether it is physical or mental, um, able to be seen or in an invisible illness, um, but I'd like to help educate people or help people realize they are not alone in what they have or the effects that some things have for them. <laughs> like how I'm fucking a rattlesnake right now. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool though. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this up, and then do editing and all that good shit, and keep a lookout, because I think I'm going to do a 7 day challenge where I try and at least film every day, if not post every day. So, thank you for watching, and um, keep me in mind, and I hope this was recording and I'm not talking to myself. <laughs>